Hey, what's going on, everybody? Nemesis Prime 85 coming at you with another video. And this is going to be a sucky one. Uh, I'm having to move soon, so... You know, the collection room is going to change a lot. It's going to get packed up. A lot of it's going to have to stay packed up. But I thought let's finish her off with one last collection tour. Because I enjoy doing these. I love sharing my collection because I'm obviously, you know, very proud of it. But uh, we'll start where we always start over at the Hot Toys. Not much has changed. And then, you know, you got your... Uh, your miscellaneous stuffed animals that are all uh, gifts from my girlfriend. Uh, you know, Mark V, Mark Seven, 43, 46, 85, Battle Damage 85, Classic PS4 Spider Man, Advanced Suit, Anti Ox Suit, The Advanced Suit 2.0. Um, Spider-Man 2. Endgame Captain America. The S King S Bane on the Fison M33 body. And the Hot Toys DX19 Batman. Limb Toys Arthur Morgan. John's coming soon. That's going to be sweet. Thunder Toys Black Suit Toby with my 3D printed uh, Spider-Man 2, uh, Spider-Man helmet. I am currently making a black suit Toby helmet. Just gotta finish the lenses, and then we will put these two together. The flag set ghost with my, again, 3D printed and custom made ghost mask. And then over here, my custom Mark 85 helmet, 3D printed, and the Disney proof Tony Stark has a heart arc reactor from Iron Man 1, which was an anniversary present from my girlfriend. I love that thing so much. And her, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, these are, these will probably always be some of the best things I own, obviously, because they're hot toys. But then, you know, Ikea decided to screw us and get rid of the Detolf and replace it with the Blaladin or whatever it's called that's half the size and doesn't work. So now I'm stuck with it. You know, you got your uh, gift from my uncle because he got me in a 3D printing and then my uh, IMAX poster for Rise of the Beast because one of my friends works at a Megaplex. And you know, you can see my, my bed over there. <laughs> but over here in the Transformers Detolf, Lego Prime, my... Black Apple Prime with the Dino Model Shop Quan 2.0 head sculpt and the Sternum Upgrade Kit with the WW01 Wasp Warrior Bumblebee. MSO2 Magic Square Prime with Transform Elements in vehicle mode with MP10's trailer. MP10 and Masterpiece Rodimus. And the Unique Toys Challenger and Dragoon. This is one thing I'm ready to be done with. Is this curtain covering up half the details and then not. Like, I didn't have anywhere else to put these because my room is a mess. But hopefully that'll look better soon. Same print that's been there for eight years. My uh, Autobot logo that's also been there for eight years. Uh, not much has really changed here over on the old movie table. None of those have changed. Might have just learned that my uh, Buster Prime is a knockoff, so that's kind of cool. But whatever. Now we'll get into the TFCon things I got. Um, we got, finally, after years, the Mastermind Creations Tyrantron from the More Than Meets the Eye comics. It's Autobot Megatron. Easily my all-time favorite Megatron design and probably Megatron. If you have not read those comics, I would highly recommend them because they're fantastic. Optus Knox, Nemesis Prime, Optus Pexus, Orion Pax, Optimus, whatever. New Age, there's a lot of dust 
if you can't tell. It's been a rough few months. <laughs> but uh, New Age G1 Prime. Uh, drawing a blank on what he's called. I know it was a different company name, but it's actually X Transbots. But you got little robots in disguise, IDW Prime, the MDLX Prime and Bumblebee, the Furai model kits from Flame Toys with the Legacy Tarn, because he fits in with the IDW figures. I still think that the IDW Prime design is easily one of the best Optimus Prime designs to date. Fight me. It's beautiful. I love it. Over here, the Masterpiece movie masterpiece Optimus Megatron and Ironhide you know because uh, he took his spot and then he scales with him but Ironhide doesn't and unfortunately Black Apple Ironhide is sold out everywhere because I was stupid and didn't get on and order it when I should have yeah then, you know, somebody made a comment about my homecoming poster from my girlfriend from like five years ago so that's that's cool, that's what that is. Nothing has really changed up top. My excitement for War for Cybertron and Legacy has kind of died because I'm kind of worn out with G1, honestly. Like Y'all know me, I'm a Bayverse guy and sure, G1 is G1. Can't say anything to upset the G1 fans, but I want more IDW figures. I want more Bayverse figures. Like, G1 has run its course for years. I'm not saying it's bad. I still buy it because I'm dumb. But, like, can we can we finish out Studio Series, please? I know we got listings for Age of Extinction Prime, but he won't be out until next year. That kind of annoys me because I really want him. But, whatever. Autobots, Decepticons. Nothing has changed. Random War for Cybertron legacy figures because I ran out of space up top. The best part of my display, hands down, this is my favorite. We've got DLX Bumblebee Movie Prime. My prized possession, the DLX Revenge of the Fallen Prime with about $250 worth of upgrades dumped into him because I'm an idiot. This is not healthy. Please help me. But I did just add the, I think it's R035 Replenish upgrade kits to him. Uh, you can't, you probably can't tell because like my uh, friends and family always say, I'm the only one that can tell the differences. But you've got these little 3D printed arm extenders right there. And then these kind of just lats. Just buff them out a little bit. Brings his arm farther away from the body, kind of thickens him up a little bit. I think it looks fantastic. Still don't have a problem with my uh, MC003F. They have a specific one for him, which brings the windows out, the doors out, and the arms out to make him look more different than the uh, Revenge of the Fallen version because, you know, the windows were more expressive in Dark of the Moon. But, uh, yeah, they also have pieces to bring the stock versions of his, uh, like his traps and, you know, brings them out farther, except I have the Quan kits on both of these guys and it's not really needed. But I need to stop dumping money into him because I am, I put down a deposit. If you go onto Dino Model Shop's Instagram and, or you look up Ray Sun Wu on Instagram, Ray Sun Wu, uh, he designed a full kit that basically replaces everything on the DLX Prime and then makes it the most CGI accurate Optimus we've ever seen for $700. I have already put $200 down. I have an addiction to completing, getting a perfect Bayverse Prime. So, back to it. Over here, DLX Last Night Prime with the Quan upgrade head would have preferred the l8 version uh because i think it looked better but it sold out and l8 is very slow so i just settled for this one 
want to get some Age of Extinction's arm on, arms on him. But I think I'm going to wait until the Nemesis Prime version comes out. Uh, I got the chance to see that thing at TFCon. I love this one. Only problem is you've seen Age of Extinction in the last night. He's not bright silver. He's more gunmetal, dirty, scuffed up. The Nemesis Prime figure is dirty and scuffed up because it's Nemesis, but it looks more like Age of Extinction Optimus than anything. So he will, this will be my Nemesis because it does have swap out pieces uh, for the Nemesis look. And then the Nemesis figure will be my Age of Extinction Prime. Went back there. You got Bumblebee because I got the Dark of the Moon MC003F for my birthday. So Bumblebee had to leave. But then you've got the Jada uh, Peterbilt Optimus with the little wire that I threw on there to look more accurate. Love that thing. And then the Jada Western Star with the Matrix and All Spark from the NPM figures. And here, same guys, Studio Series, Prime and Megatron. Studio Series Decepticons haven't changed because we're not getting any. Studio Series Autobots haven't changed because we're not really getting any. That's been the same for like four years. Beast Wars. I, I know there's a lot of Beast Wars fans. I've never been a Beast Wars guy. I genuinely don't know why I spent so much money getting these. It was, It's kind of like with these. I bought all of these because it was like, I want to have the complete G1 cast. Then I realized there's a lot that I forgot about. And then, you know, so I'm kind of just happy with that. But I just bought these because they were there. And I was like, oh, we might as well. And now it's kind of, I kind of want to just sell them all. Make some money to take to the next TFCon or something. Down here. The Nemesis Prime from Jada. And then back behind that is Rise of the Beast Prime. I was going to get Rise of the Beast uh, DLX Prime from 3-0's Boof at TFCon. Boof. Boof. But they had Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. And I bought that instead. To find out he doesn't really fit right here. Even if I take Bumblebee Prime out. So that's kind of unfortunate. So he's just sitting in my closet until I can get a new display. Um, we'll come back over here for some fun things that I forgot to show. Uh, at TFCon, if y'all don't know, Peter Collin and Frank Welker attended. Here's me and Frank with my homeless hair. And then my dad and I with Peter. I got to get the picture solo with Peter last year, so I wanted it to be a special thing this year with my dad and I. We got up to the table to have him sign. He takes a few seconds, looks my dad and I up and down and goes, you guys look familiar. Peter freaking Cullen. Now I understand this might've just been like him being nice, but even his wife recognized us. So it was kind of like, holy crap, that's awesome. But yeah. There's me and Peter and my dad. And me and Frank. Frank is the nicest guy you'll ever meet. Had a nice conversation with him about Transformers Prime and just his face lit up when we, my dad brought up that I grew up on Prime. So that was really my like first exposure to Frank's voice and then obviously going into G1. But uh, he told him I grew up on that and his face just lit up and oh, the CGI on that was amazing. Like he's the nicest and goofiest guy you will ever meet. And Peter's handshake scares me because it's way stronger than you'd expect and he almost crushes your hand. So if y'all ever get the chance to go meet Peter and Frank, I would highly recommend it. And then got the TG Ping Megatron print signed by Frank to go with my Optimus. And then Peter had him sign the Missing Link G1 version of Prime. So forgot to show those off. Still need to get a frame. For all of these, get those up on my wall. You know, down there's my uh, my Hot Toys boxes because I don't have space in my closet. If y'all are real OG, y'all know the uh, the closet situation. Uh, nothing's really changed over here. I don't think. Might have added SS102 Prime. 
this has changed. It's been a minute. Uh, yeah. No. You know, devastated balls. Sorry. Yeah. There's me two years ago. A year ago. I don't know how long that was. And then, you know, print from Ping autographed. Now I'm going to show you all my new addiction because it's a problem and it's going crazy. I like coming. I got a phone call in the middle of speaking, so it cut my recording, so I uh, got to redo the comic book section. As I was saying, I like comic books. Comics are cool. You know, got some over here that I thought I'd show first. We got the Comic Capsule Dark Mode Edition. Oh, cool. Symbiote Spider-Man cover. I thought it was cute, and I needed something to put in a black case, so I bought it. So... A very cool Batman. Hi. Batman cover. And then the Transformers ones. We have the 1 in 50 incentive cover for issue 4. Spoilers of Megatron in the Ice. If that's a spoiler for y'all, I'm sorry. But it's been out for months now. So, yeah. This is a freaking amazing cover. It was a birthday gift from one of my friends. Beautiful. Another birthday gift. The Hector Trunek variant of Transformers number one, which is a beautiful watercolor painting of MP10. Or if you want to get technical because of the vents on his legs, the Wai Zhang upscaled MP10. And then the foil. That's not really just my light. This thing is shiny. This is the Comic-Con foil version of issue one. So yeah, if y'all haven't seen these comic capsules and you like comics, they're 10 bucks a pop. I know a lot of people have a problem with that. They're freaking awesome. I love them. They're nice and decently affordable. They just pop open. And you just slide your comic in there. Fits it beautifully. And it's nice and secure. I also got this. Oh, Void Rivals poster that was put up in comic shops as a free throw-in for purchasing this. I love this thing so much. I'm like kind of high energy right now in this video, if y'all can't tell. So I'm a little, uh, I'm a little crazy. But uh, the basketball cover for Transformers 1, CGC 9.8. If y'all don't know grading comics, a 10 is basically impossible. 9.9 .9 is amazing. 9.8 is the best you can really get. Pick that up for $150 uh, from Big Clutch Comics at TFCon. I know, $150, crazy. 9.8, very rare cover, very cool cover. But uh, you had to buy this through Daniel Warren Johnson's agent's art website. There wasn't really an announcement for it, and it went quick. So it was very hard to get, but Big Clutch is apparently friends with, you know, like Skybound and Robert Kirkman, so that's cool. So he had all of a lot of those. And then the Ultimate Spider-Man number one black suit cover. You know, pick this guy up for six dollars. This is now running for like 70 to 100 just in a bag and board, not graded or anything. And that's not even the craziest thing I have in this comic box. We'll flip through these a little bit. We've got uh, all the cover A's for issues one through six. And then a lot of variants for Transformers. Duke, amazing story. Cobra, amazing story. Void Rivals, not really my thing, but it's pretty. It's really good. It's just not my thing. But this is all the Energon universe. If y'all haven't started reading these, the trade paperback with issues one through six of Transformers comes out soon. This is the best Optimus Prime ever written. It's better than G1. It's better than everything. This is this is Optimus. It's amazing. And spoilers, he's got Megatron's arm. It's awesome. Uh, back here. In these really heavy-duty Ultra Pro bag and boards, we've got issues one, two, and three of Ultimate Spider-Man. They're in these nice ones because that's a hundred bucks. That's like eighty. 
that's like 60. This is very expensive and I got it on release day. So I'm gonna keep them as nice as I can and get them graded once the first arc is over. Then more covers. These, these are awesome. The facsimile covers of the original Black Suit story. Uh, Deadpool 1 just released a few days ago. Not really my thing. Doesn't change the fact that it was really good. Don't know if I'm going to start pulling it every month. Uh, facsimile of Invincible issue 1. And now, the thing I spent $260 on in the last three days. I've made it a goal of mine to have all 57 issues of More Than Meets the Eye. Because I love More Than Meets the Eye. I think it's an amazing story. Autobot Megatron is one of the best character arcs I've ever read. So I'm spending a lot of money. We've got just random ones. That one's cool to have. Just a lot of randoms skipping back and forth. Found this in a random comic shop in Las Vegas and had to do it. The finale of Dark Cybertron. Issue 28, two variants of that. 29, 30, 33, 34, you know, just whole lot of more than meets the eye trying to get all of them i've had that one since it came out but then a few issues of lost light that i just found in a comic shop in vegas that just randomly had like 20 issues of more than meets the eye uh shattered glass variant from uh, the figure that's pretty cool beast wars one variant this idw story that's not that great ghostbusters optimus prime i forgot i had this 14. I gotta get all those too. The uh, Generations cover of the Orion Pax Spotlight. And just random, random comics. And then some, and my supplies that I am running very low on. Yeah, this is my current favorite thing to do is buy comic books. I really enjoy it. I'm bending. This is the fun part, is having to fit it all in this freaking box. I think I want to invest in another short one, or just get a long one, because the long ones are cool, they're just long, and I don't really have space for it. But yeah, comic books. I got more to go pick up tomorrow. It's a slippery slope. Watch yourself. If y'all skip through that segment, welcome back. I know, I kind of went on with that. I wasn't planning on showing all of them, but here we are. <laughs> that's that's legit. That's my prized possession. I love that thing. But uh, moving over here, you know, last night poster that I printed out when I was a kid before the movie came out. I'll die on the hill of saying this movie had like the best marketing out of any Transformers media. Marketing for that movie was just insane. And then it came out and I was like, oh. Okay. Yeah, the marketing for that movie was fantastic. That poster was awesome as a child. Literally nothing has changed over here with the old toys. I did get a sealed Devastator at TFCon. That was a gift from my dad. Sentimental thing, because he bought me the original on one of my birthdays when I was a little kid. He bought me that, so he got me a sealed one. That was pretty sweet. And just Legos down on the bottom that I need to pack up. Now we're getting to some of the new things. You know, we've got a plush to miss and mega plush up here from Universal Studios. I love how goofy his face looks. And you got the Ultimate Prime. This was also a gift because he got me this when the movie came out. So got me that. Got some WWE figures. Well, sorry, WCW. Even though it's Razor Ramon, that's WWE. Because I was indoctrinated as a child into liking the NWO and liking Goldberg and Scott Hall. So I'm not a wrestling guy by any means. Just I watched these guys as a kid. So I bought these Goat Guns AR-15 gift from a few years ago. Because I am going to work with guns. The Ark. Two of my new favorite figures. Prime just showed up recently. The AMK Pro model kits from Yellow Park. These things are 50 to 60 dollars after shipping and they are the best figures you can get for that price i sound like a shell this is amazing this is also amazing 
and they look great together, and they're pretty cheap. Missing Link Prime. I like him. I got him at TFCon with the other one. He's pretty sick. And then just Mafex Spider-Man chilling right there for no reason. I don't know why he's there. Uh, Marvel Legends. I don't know why I keep buying these. G.I. Joe hasn't changed at all. Boxes. I'm not going to show you all my closet because it is, uh, it's obscene. And then over here, this little Rise of the Beast wall. Jesus, fight me. I didn't think Rise of the Beast was that great. I think it was a good enough movie to keep people invested in the franchise. But, in like, okay, comparing it to the Bayverse, you have to admit, it was not better than, say, 07 or Dark of the Moon. The CGI was lacking. The story was full of plot holes. Where the frick did the Maximals come? Are they from the future? Are they from the past? How does Primal know who Optimus Prime is? Are they a colony from Cybertron? Like... Give us some cool designs, though. I'm going to get a lot of angry people saying, because I didn't like that movie. This poster's cool, though. Still pissed that they cut that scene out. Yeah. Regeneration 1 poster from that awful comic book. Oh, yeah, up there. Hasn't changed either. Oh, yeah. And, you know, there's just a... An AK-47 chilling on the ground because I don't have space and I gotta move. I'll show you all these. Web shooters. Just some random stuff. And then a 3D printed Sauron that I painted because, you know, Lord of the Rings goes hard. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this was my dream as a kid to have everything like this. And now I got to move, and it all gets packed up. It's unfortunate, but that's life, you know. Uh, not a lot of real people realize this. I just turned 18. Like, I, I had all this as a child. So now it's like my life is starting. I got other priorities. While still spending an unreasonable amount of money on Transformers-related things. Like, like I said, these comics... I have bought 35 issues of More Than Meets the Eye in like four days and spent 260 bucks just because I was always mad I wasn't around to buy them all. Yeah, the new Skybound comics are great. They are fantastic. It is the best Optimus Prime ever written. And he suplexes Starscream, so... You know, it's truly fantastic. Also, a little a little random thing. Anybody else see Godzilla Suplex King Kong? I need to go see that movie because that is peak cinema, let me tell you. But yeah, now we're just rambling. There's the collection for probably the last collection video in this room. Or possibly ever. Who knows? I don't know where I'll be. I would like to keep occasionally doing YouTube. I have so much stuff I want to do, man. Like, I wanted to do the upgrade kit video for him, for him, something on him. But then I come up here to do it, and motivation dies. But, yeah. If y'all are interested, check out Dino Model Shop on Instagram. He has amazing products. Expensive, but amazing. That's it, y'all. It's very dusty and very, very dirty. Oh, whatever. Also, this is the coolest freaking thing ever. Being able to put Tarn's face on his chest like he did in issue 55. I love this figure. Yeah, guys. That'll do it. That is the collection. sucks but i'm excited to start a new chapter you know 
But yeah, that's gonna do it for me, guys. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and the bell so you're notified when I upload. Let me know if y'all made it to the end of the video. I wanna know if there's any OGs in here that have been with me for from the start. There are a few people that will randomly hit me up when I post and just be like, hey, I've been waiting for you to upload, man. That's always nice. But I would like to keep going. I just don't know if I can. I don't know where any of this is going to be. Hopefully not in a storage locker or in a closet. But that's highly likely. It's looking like right now the Hot Toys and these guys are probably going to be the only things out. Because they're the nicest, they're the things that mean a lot to me. And they don't take up a lot of room. I just, you know, like, freaking that. Those are going to have to get picked, packed up. All that, unfortunately. That area's a mess. Yeah. Like I said, subscribe, notifications, like button. Like I said, drop a comment if you're an OG, if you've been here for a while. Even if you're not, say what's up. I like interacting with you guys. Except at TFCon, because they're all G1 purists. And I... Uh, that was fun. Yeah. Like I said, that's going to do it for me. See you all in the next one.